everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back and thank you for supporting me. I'm Coretta. In this video, I will be sublimating a 12 ounce coffee mug using my new PYD Life mini sublimation oven, even under the handle. You wanna see how I do it? Come on y'all, let's get started. For this project, you will need a sublimation mug. This is a Cricut sublimation mug. You will need sublimation paper. You will need heat tape, shrink wrap, and heat gloves. I will leave a list of the materials in the description of the video. So to get this project done, I purchased a template from Etsy. I will leave a link to the template in the video description. I've already downloaded the template to my computer and uploaded it. And so I'm just going to add the template to the canvas. So I'm gonna click upload and then I'm going to add the template. Now that I have the template added to the canvas, you can see that there are two templates that are cut files. One of the templates is for a, um, let me zoom out a little bit. One is a, the top one is for a 15 ounce and the bottom one is for a 12 ounce mug. For this project, I'm going to use the 12 ounce um, template. So I'm going to delete the 15 ounce template. And to delete it, I am going to make sure that all both of the templates are selected because they are grouped together. And on the top of the layers panel, I'm going to select ungroup. And then I am going to select the template that I want to um, click it anywhere on the screen. Then I'm going to select the template that is the 15 ounce template. And then on the top of the layers panel, I'm going to select delete. And that will leave me with the 12 ounce template. Next, I'm going to add my 3D image to the canvas. For my mug, I have chosen a 3D sublimation mug wrap from Creative Fabrica. They have a lot of designs that you can use to help create any project. So check them out. I will leave a link of um, I will leave a link to Creative Fabrica in the video description. So now I'm going to add the image to the canvas. And that is I'm going to select upload and then I'm going to select the image that I'm going to add and then I'm going to select add to canvas. Now I have my image, I'm going to size the image so that it fits within the um, mug wrap template. And so I'm just gonna size it. I'm going to arrange it to the back so that I can see the template on top of the image. And I'm just gonna size it down making sure that I size it down so that it's not too small and I want to cover all of the areas of the template. And so I'm just going to size it down so that it fits the template. Okay, so that is good for me right there. So now that I have the image size, I want to be able to see behind the template so that I can see exactly where the template is in order to pick up the, the part of the image that I want on my mug. And to do that, I am going to turn the, the mug template into a guide. To do this, I am going to select the template so I'm going to select the template from over here on my layers panel. I'm going to select the template and on the top menu under operations, I'm going to select the drop down menu and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to select guide. This will turn the template into 
um, some red lines and it's the outline and you will be able to position the template over top of your design so that you can see what portions of the image will be captured in the mug wrap template. So to make this simple, I am going to select both the image and the mug wrap template and I'm going to go to the top menu and I'm going to select a line and a line center. And I am okay with where the center of the design is and where the, the mug wrap and the template are positioned. Let me see if I can make it a little bit smaller so that I can try to capture all of the, as many butterflies as I can. So again, I'm going to be bring it out just a little bit more. And then I'm going to select both the image and the mug wrap. And then I'm going to select a line center. Next with both of the image and the template selected, I am going to go to the bottom menu and I'm going to select slice. I'm going to delete the pieces that I don't want. And then that'll leave me with my mug wrap template. So looking at the layers panel, I can see that there is an exclamation mark that um, is attached to my slice results, which is my, my image for the mug wrap template. This exclamation sign is um, indicating that the print is too big for the paper size that I have set up. So what I'm gonna do is click on the exclamation mark and on the sign, and then I it's gonna tell me that the image is too large for eight and a half by 11 paper, and that in the max size for eight and a half by 11 paper is 9.94 .9 inches by 3.58 inches. So in this situation, I can either auto size, auto resize my image or change my page size. And for this project, I am going to change my page size. And so I'm going to select change page size. I'm going to select load type. And then in the print then cut page size, I'm going to select the drop down menu and change it to eight and a half by 14, which is legal paper. And then I'm going to select done. And now you see that the exclamation sign is gone. And now that the exclamation sign is gone, I can select print on, I mean, not print, I'm sorry, I can select make it. And so I'm going to select make it here. And here on the matte screen, you can see that I have my print then cut. And since this is sublimation, I'm going to turn the mirror option on. And then I'm going to hit continue. Here, I'm going to print my image, then cut it. So to print it, I'm going to select send to printer. I'm going to make sure that my sublimation printer is selected. I'm going to leave the add bleed on, and then I'm going to turn on my system dialog and I'm going to select print. Once the system dialog box open, I am going to select my sublimation printer and then I am going to go to preferences. I'm going to select my sublimation preset that I have set for my eight and a half by 14 paper. I'm going to make sure that my document size is eight and a half by 14. My paper type is premium presentation matte and my quality is set on high. 
I'm then going to select more options and I am going to turn off the mirror image because I mirrored the design in design space. I'm going to select OK and then I am going to select print. Now I have my design printed, I will get it cut out. For the print then cut, I am going to select medium cardstock for the setting. And I am going to make sure that I place the paper on the mat the same way it is shown on the computer. So I'm gonna make sure that the image is placed, the paper is placed on the mat just the way it's shown on the computer. So I have my mug design cut and it's ready to add to the mug. I've already cleaned the mug with alcohol to remove any residue that may interfere with the sublimation process. Now, the way I do my mugs is to place my image on my mug, I'm gonna turn my mug upside down. I'm going to turn my image upside down and I am going to wrap it around the, the mug. And then I am just going to um, lay the paper down and I am going to overlap the paper, making sure that I pull it really tight. I am going to place a piece of heat tape on the top of the mug, pulling it really tight. So I wanna pull it really, really tight here and then I'm gonna fold it over like that and then I am going to do the same thing on the bottom making sure that the paper is really tight I'm gonna get my tape making sure that the paper is really tight let's put it down I am going to pull the paper over the bottom this seam here as well again I want to make sure that the the tape is pulling really tight because I don't want any air to get under the paper and then I'm going to do the same thing for the middle I'm going to put heat tape down through the middle and I'm just going to pull that really tight as well. And then I'm going to tape up the rest of the seam just so I can make sure that no air gets underneath the paper. And so all I'm doing is taking heat tape and I'm taking it across the middle and across the top and then on the bottom as well Oops. then I'm gonna make tape down like around the handle where the paper and the mug and the where the handle and the paper where the opening is around the handle I'm sorry y'all so I'm just going to tape that down as well because I want to make sure that no air gets under the paper because I want that to lay down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a long piece of tape 
and I am going to put it around the top of the mug making sure that I put half on the mug and half off of the mug and then I'm just going to pull that tight around as well so that I can get the make sure that the paper and the mug I want to make sure that the paper is making full contact with the mug and then I'm going to get another piece because that one was short so I'm going to get another piece and do the same here just pulling it really tight making sure that the paper and the mug make gets contact and then I'm just gonna fold it over like that And you want to make sure it's flat because you want to make sure that no that the paper is flat and then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom so now that I have my mug taped what I'm going to do is get my shrink wrap so I have my shrink wrap I'm going to turn it this way and then I'm going to place my mug on top of my shrink wrap and then I am going to place it on here with the handle facing the crease of the shrink wrap. So I want the handle facing the, the crease. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave about an inch on this side and about an inch on this side. And then I'm just going to cut off the shrink wrap so that the mug will fit into the shrink wrap then I am going to place my mug inside of the shrink wrap with the handle in the crease here so I'm going to place it in here in the shrink wrap and I am going to make sure that it's kind of make sure that the mug is in the middle of the shrink wrap and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a slit at the top of the handle. So there's the handle here. So here's the handle, right? There's the handle. So I'm going to cut a slit here at the top of the handle. And then I'm going to cut a slit here at the bottom of the handle like that. So you have a slit in the handle. Then I am going to cut open this slit right here from where I cut, cut open the shrink wrap bag here in between the slits and then the handle will fit through the shrink wrap. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tape down this side of the shrink wrap I'm gonna put a piece of tape on it and I'm gonna tape it to the cup to the mug so I'm gonna put shrink wrap right here tape it to the mug and then I'm gonna tape this side to the mug so I'm gonna put the middle piece through here and then I'm gonna tape it down to the mug to the other side here so I'm gonna put tape right there then I'm gonna fold down this side and then I'm gonna put a piece of shrink wrap I mean I'm sorry a piece of tape down here on the bottom and then I'm gonna fold it down again and I'm gonna put tape on this side as well So you basically, you're taping the shrink wrap bag around the tumbler. I mean, I'm sorry, around the mug. 
and you want to make sure you secure it so that when you start shrinking the shrink wrap it won't pop open so you just want to make sure that it's secured like that and so then i'm going to get my heat gun and then i'm going to shrink the shrink wrap to the mug Next, I am going to take the piece of shrink wrap that we had cut off and I'm going to cut that open and then I'm going to put it through the handle here again and then I'm going to take this down to the tumbler, to the mug. I don't know why I keep calling it a tumbler, but I'm going to take this down to the mug as well and then I'm going to shrink wrap that as well just for some added pressure now the mug is ready and I'm going to heat up the oven so to he according to the instructions a ceramic mug should be supplemented at 355 degrees for 13 seconds so I'm going to push the temperature icon and the temperature is set at 355 already from the last time when I had the oven on and I'm going to push the timer icon and I am going to turn it to the right to increase it to 13 seconds. And then I'm going to hit run. So I'm going to let the oven heat up and when the oven heats up, I'll be back. So the oven is beeping, indicating that the I can put the mug inside. So I'm just going to open the door and put the mug inside. And then let the timer go. So the mug is ready. So I'm going to remove it from the oven. I'm going to place it on the heat pad. And what I'm going to do is I am going to remove the shrink wrap while the, while the mug is still hot. I want to remove the shrink wrap so that it's not difficult to take off. Okay, so the mug is cooled off a little. And so I am going to take the tape off so we can reveal the mug to see what we have here. So I'm gonna take this tape off. Mm. The fun part always takes the longest. pretty oh my god now i really want to get the paper and the tape off y'all see that y'all see that oh my god i can't get the paper off mm, 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 mm. but do y'all see that huh oh my god i can't get the tape off <laughs> i can't get it off fast enough i want to see the whole thing y'all okay there we go Oh, it's so pretty. Look, y'all. Look at it. It's so pretty. And I have sublimation all the way under the handle. It is so pretty. Wow. What you guys think? Huh? What you think? All right, guys. That's all for now. I hope that you were able to follow along with my process. 
If you like this video and would like to see more, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will respond back. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.